we all have a journey and we all have a voice. And I'm truly proud of the person I have become. So accepting. And no one's worried about, oh my gosh, it's two women getting married. They're looking at it going, oh my gosh, look at how in love these people are. Look at how wonderful of a relationship this is. Hold your hands so tight oh, Baby, don't let us fight If you could only see, baby Because Don proposed to me at these places and these places had meaning in our lives because this is where we spend our days. Um, we thought we were going to be met with some opposition. Everyone has been so open and so amazing and people are coming up saying, wow, we're so proud of y'all or thank you so much. The day I met Don was the day that I had moved packed my boxes, grabbed the U-Haul, and actually moved out from my ex-girlfriend of four years. Our friend invited me to go and join them for dinner. A, a woman walks in and I'm thinking, oh my God, it's Diane Lane. Really? Stunningly gorgeous. I was immediately breathtaking. It just took my breath away even before I knew who she was. We did have an instant connection. We uh, talked and I remember sitting around at a fire just talking to her for hours and I really don't even recall what we talked about. We had a great time, it was easy, um, and it was amazing. She, she let me chase her for a long time, <laughs> but I obviously caught her. Open up your love and arms, you'll begin to see. night at the restaurant there was a lady who came out and said you know no one here knows that I'm gay but I thank you for doing this project because you do have a voice and it's amazing that you guys are willing to do this when you make a commitment like this it should be a commitment that you're making spend your life with someone. This is the person for me, and I need to make those efforts to make this work. We definitely, right off the bat, felt that connection. We understand each other and compromise and get each other. We, we don't stay mad, and then we over it, you know, the next second. We laugh a lot. We laugh at each other, near each other, with each other. <laughs> uh, but we definitely know how to communicate. I think that's very important in any relationship, straight, gay. Um, you have to learn to, to speak each other's language and uh, have that mutual respect. Don and Jason have created a family dynamic based on love, not based on blood, or not based on what society says you have to do. Both myself and Don wanted kids at a young age. Being best friends, I couldn't imagine her going to somebody else to have children with. It's been a blessing. I love it. Definitely a, a homebody, family man, so this works out great for us. Um, the church that we currently go to, they don't know that we are there as a lesbian couple. We're not there to, to be out and be proud and say, okay, here we are as lesbians, accept us of who we are. We're there because of the music and because of the message that the pastor brings to us. That they, we can actually bring those messages home and relate those to our everyday life. So we're not going to church to make a statement, we're going to church to receive God's love. I left a communist country to have freedom you know, in America where I can be who I am. That's what America is about, freedom to love whoever I want to love. I was very passionate about youth and, and really uh, that's a, a calling, if you want to call it a calling. I've always felt very strong about um, our young people, the influences, and how that affects the choices that they make. Today you see a lot of the bullying is what they call it. To me it's just judging. I think it's very powerful whenever a religious establishment, a church, an organization, a school uh, is telling a young person that who they are is not acceptable. I've never been open. I've always been in the closet at my job. And it's hard for me to tell people and not feel ashamed of being a lesbian. And this is my time 
I finally feel like I'm not going to be ashamed anymore. And I, I want, I'm proud of being a lesbian for the first time in my life.